Next talk, we've got James Chang, independent researcher. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. So first, a uh, big thank you for the organizers and volunteers for having me today. It's a real privilege to be here. And um, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing to see the advancing Bitcoin community grow uh, to what it is today. So that's pretty awesome. So I'm going to talk about something that's a little more researchy. I've been working on an independent research project uh, to basically provide uh, some kind of formal verification of contracts in a generalized way uh, during signing time. And the reason why I'm talking about today is also I'm looking for collaborators who might be interested um, on this topic and have a research background. There are a couple of follow-up things that I want to work on. Um, and I think like with, uh, with, with uh, you know, network collaborators, that would be a lot more effective. Okay. So the goal of this piece is the following. Um, I think the intuition is, is mostly conveyed if you consider how wallet implementations work today. So let's say you have a coin joint implementation, you have a lightning implementation. Like all these implementations in, in contracting protocol have their own dedicated key manager, right? So if I want to close my channel and I, I want to move the funds through a coin joint mixer, that's like one extra on-chain transaction that I need to move this liquidity. Furthermore, I could potentially take the keys and you know, uh, move the private keys from implementation to implementation, but that's obviously uh, not ideal because you're potentially exposing your keys, uh, pri uh, the private keys. So, so the idea is like, is it possible to consolidate key management between protocols so that I have one signer that looks at the contracts that it receives for signing and that can apply a generalized safety policy to those contracts? Um, this has a couple of advantages, one is Again, I don't have to move liquidity on-chain between the different protocols. Uh, potentially, the interoperability between these protocols can be improved because I can mix the different contract types and still apply generalized safety policy on top of it. Um, and uh, so that's the goal that I want to, that I'm trying to achieve with this piece of research. And hopefully, hopefully I can demonstrate how that works today.